Greg Ruff and Chad Hibden along with you. Women's basketball coach here at Trevecca, and it's Lane tonight. And Saturday, Cedarville. No, excuse me, Monday, Cedarville. Monday. You got me confused. And then uh, Wednesday at Kentucky Wesley and kind of wrapping up uh, – your pre-conference, or not pre-conference, but pre-Christmas schedule. I've, I'll get it right here in a minute or two. But tonight, it's Lane in a non-conference game. Just talk about Lane a little bit and kind of where you guys are through the finals week and all that. Yeah, you know, I mean, finals week is a tough week. Uh, you know, you, you still want to stay sharp, but you're obviously uh, shortening your practice up. You still want them to be intense. And, you know, we've given them a little bit of time off to, to focus on the academic side, which, which they need, um, you know, when they're, you know, big portion of their grade is uh, subject to that, yes. that final exam uh, grade. So um, uh, our girls have, uh, you know, felt like they, you know, have had that opportunity to do that. And we felt like we've we've stayed sharp. Uh, now tonight is, is what it is. It's a non-conference game uh, coming off exam week. And so we understand that. Yeah. And, and we just we want to come back in before we play two conference games on Monday and Wednesday, give ourselves a chance to go compete against someone else uh, instead of practicing for two or three more yeah. days. And, you know, having that time off, and, uh, and and that's why you know this this game. Uh, they're they're a very athletic team, um, and, and a very talented team, um, and so it'll be a really really big test for us. And uh, once again, we we've, we've got a few few bodies out, uh, yeah. And uh, we're going to play that you know for the next you know week or so, uh, with with some significant uh, you know players uh, on the sideline. But that's okay. Uh, it gives uh, our other girls a, an opportunity to. To step up, uh, you know, uh, and 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 help us be better, um, you know, on this stretch run when we get back from Christmas, and so that's what we're trying to do right now. Just trying to trying to improve and get better, and let's take a deep breath after we finish up with Wesleyan on on Wednesday, and we'll we'll kind of regroup and spend some quality time together before we get out of here for the break, and then we'll we'll have a great plan uh, of of preparation for when we get back, and then. You know, then it's go time, uh, and 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 you know all the the things that are that have kind of slowed us down a little bit. Hey, we we're, we're going to have to overcome those. So, well, one of the things you never want to lose anybody for a game that's a key player, right? But what you said is it gives an opportunity to somebody else, and this year in particular, you've got a deeper bench and you've got a talented bench that's sitting there waiting for opportunities, and they're and they're taking advantage of it. It seems like. They are. We, we tell them all the time, you know, most most scenarios, you have to prove it in practice. Like, you have yeah. to earn it. And what we tell those players that are, you know, say outside of that top seven or eight rotation that are just, you know, just really right on the verge of getting an opportunity, we tell them that you've got to, you know, you've got to earn that in practice and you've got to kind of show us that opportunity that, that needs to be there by something that you're doing that says, play me, coach. You've got to play me. Well, now – they're going to get to play, yeah. you know, and and so we've got to look at that and 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 be able to to give them that opportunity and, and allow them to 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 experience that and then you know once again I mean we're we're hoping that we see um, you know some bright spots and mm -hmm. and then you know when we get everybody back and healthy and moving forward this season next season um, then there's uh, you know some things and then the other side is you know hey when you get the opportunity you got to make the most of it and you don't want to you want to make sure that when you get the opportunity that you don't lose it when people come back. You still get the minutes, and you're going to earn the minutes. Absolutely, yeah. You, if you do some things in that opportunity and you show and it says, hey, I, I can provide value to your team, to our team, uh, and I can provide value uh, on the court uh, because all of our young ladies are providing yeah. value to, our, to yes. our program. They're bringing a lot to the table. We've got a great group of young ladies. But then it comes down to that basketball, and, and that's you know kind of this opportunity. I'm excited. I'm really excited about the next three games. Uh, the task is going to be you know tall for us, um, but – uh, I'm excited to see these young women step up and get that opportunity, and and and, and let's have some some small successes. All right, wrap it up with tell me tonight if X happens, if so and so does this, if we get this from people, we win. I'm looking at Abby Buck down there, and if Abby Buck drains five three pointers, we win. All right, that's easy. Abby Buck, and she can do it, right? Oh yeah. All right, he's Chad Hibden. I'm Greg Ruff. Shereka basketball coming up next.